I am on day one, um, about three quarters of the way through day one of NaNoWriMo. I'm already up to 1300 words and I couldn't be more thrilled. I cannot believe how productive I've been just in the, I've only been writing for about maybe an hour and a half. I've gotten a little distracted and everything. Obviously, as you can tell, I have Libra Bray uh, diviners in my hand right now, but I'd say that, you know, I was very productive and I'm just overall excited to go down this journey of NaNoWriMo. I'm really glad I signed up. Even though I'm kind of like throwing things together planning wise just because I didn't really give myself too much time. I feel like my previous notes from prior years has really been helping me a lot. So it's like a little chaotic mess right now when it comes to the notes that I created and the character building and the overall world building. I'm creating maps as well, so, but overall, I, I think I'm being very productive, and I really am feeling strong about, like, being able to deliver the 50,000 words in the one month. I may actually go over, but again, I have to, like, kind of segment specific time, obviously, um, with eating and, you know, errands on the weekends, and then um, my reading schedule, like, I have to uh, I, I'm definitely going to make it a priority to still go through my TBRs and everything. The other day I was feeling really overwhelmed because all the arcs and everything that I've been getting approved for, it's just been piling up on me. But I honestly feel like now that I've gotten like a handle of like my entire situation, I, I'm just doing time management to the nth degree at this point. So, but yeah, I'm like just over it overexcited like I'm recovering from Halloween yesterday I spent from like 7 30 in the morning till almost actually 11 o'clock at night I was on my feet my body is very sore right now but we went and did a final day at Cedar Point for the season and then um did local trick-or-treating with my daughter and her dad and it was different this year as everyone kind of suspected with COVID and everything. Some houses were literally less, like they saw less than five kids. There was like literally no kids out. Some of the neighborhoods that are used to seeing like 40 to 100 kids, they were lucky to see three or four kids. It appears a lot of people kept their kids at home. I chose that they wore masks and everything and a lot of people were doing very safe social distancing with candy shoots. They, they were really coming up with really creative ways like some had like individual bags with the candy stuffed inside, some did Ziploc bags and then I took what I did was I took the candy out of the Ziploc bags so my daughter didn't have a hard time getting her candy. There was a lot of creativeness going on and I it was very awesome to like interact with some of the people that were some candy out so i haven't even had breakfast yet it's about 10 59 already i keep getting thrown off because we had a time change <laughs> <laughs> the clocks went back an hour, so I'm very thrown off because I keep looking at the clock over there and it's still set to like one hour ahead, obviously. I'm kind of fighting a headache right now too, so if I look like I'm like drowsy and stuff, it's partly because of that and partly because I woke up around like 7, 7.30 to begin writing and everything, so I was just anxious to get up, I guess. I don't really sleep in, honestly. I, I hardly sleep in. If I'm if I don't have a book in hand or if I don't have a book in hand or I have like my laptop to type on, which is what I'm on right now, usually I'm just like watching booktube on my TV. So, but um you, you're probably wondering why I'm holding the diviners right now, but um so I thought it would be fun to do a buddy read um with one of my friends named Nicole. Um we go way back like we went to middle school together um, in high school, so we've known each other for quite some time. But I was thinking that I would do a buddy read with her and then do like a several part discussion, kind of like breaking it up in parts uh, to discuss on the channel and everything. So I thought it would be fun to do something like that. I've seen like live collaboratives of other booktubers. I'm not feeling that daring. <laughs> um, so it's going to be previously recorded and kind of like mashed up like my reading vlogs and everything. I do plan on doing several live um, sessions with just me, perhaps like a you know reading session or a writing session. I'm not really sure at this point. I, I am very happy that I can stream and I can broadcast now. I thought I had to wait until I hit a thousand subscribers. I found out that that limitation is for mobile only. So if I'm using my cell phone, I can't stream or broadcast like live. 
but if I'm on like a physical laptop or computer, it appears that I can do that. I don't know. Take that as whatever you will with it. But I'm like probably going to divide up my writing a little bit. Like, because I'm probably not going to sit here for another hour and a half trying to write. I'll probably write later or whatever. Um, and if I don't get the 1600 in today, I figure I can make it up another day. But I'm trying to hit at least 1,667. My original plan was to hit 2,000 because I know that I'm probably not going to be able to write on Thanksgiving and I'm probably not going to write on several Saturdays um, just because of my daughter and everything. But honestly though, with how quickly I was able to get, like how much I was able to accomplish in just an hour and a half, I'm feeling confident that if I just like fit in like a later session like after my daughter goes to sleep or early in the morning before I start work and even on the weekends I feel like I'm going to be able to fit it in so like now my my goal is just to hit 1667 words per day and it's not even noon yet so I feel pretty accomplished for a Sunday <laughs> But I was thinking that this update is just going to more than likely be just a day vlog um, just to kind of talk about NaNoWriMo and then my reading progress. I was thinking of going to the bookstore and maybe taking you guys along with me, but I don't know if that's going to happen today or not. If that does happen, it'll be in this clip as well. So I've been doing so much better with my video editing and I'm so far ahead on my video editing and scheduling that I'm like, I'm honestly like thinking of extra videos that I can do now. So my end goal like by end of 2021 is I want to be up to at least five days per week of posting videos, even if I'm only commuting to at least two of the seven days. I think once I really get the hang of this video editing and everything, I think that this is going to work out way, way better. Um, and then obviously um, my tech and video game channel, I haven't exactly launched it yet. And here's why. Obviously I'm doing NaNoWriMo and then I have the arcs that I need to do. And I kind of want to do more planning when it comes to like the content in the series. Uh, especially since I'm going to be doing tutorials that the individuals can walk through. And um, the reason why I kind of want to plan that out is because I want to make sure that it's worthwhile for, for you guys. Give me time. I will definitely get it all set up. Discord channel is live, so feel free to join on that. I am on Instagram pretty regularly now. Um, I actually made time to post yesterday. Um... I'm actually doing really well with managing like time now. It's really shocking because usually like I'm just like slapping stuff together and just running around with my head cut off. Honestly, I feel like my time management skills are definitely improving. Pretty happy about that. I'm going to make myself some breakfast. Um, I have to clean up my kitchen because it is hot mess express in there. And then um, probably do some reading and then got to do some errands and then probably get back to writing later and maybe reading some more later so not much excitement going on for this Sunday but Sundays are usually my lazy days before the start of the work week starts again so this clip you guys are gonna see um, is probably within seconds and I'm gonna be updating way later so all right take care guys bye hey guys so I'm not sure what happened to my last two update clips which is really frustrating it's like 12 30 in the morning I don't know what happened to the clips but I mentioned in one of the clips that I got up to 1500 words with my writing and I was out doing errands I didn't really get too much reading in because I've been video editing like pretty much the entire evening um, I also had to work on a script for work as well, so I didn't really get too much reading in, um, unfortunately. But I did get up to 1,500 words today. I didn't get my 1,600 words, but, you know, I can make up the extra 167 words tomorrow or something. But overall, I am exhausted. I am probably just going to let you guys go for now. I know that this is probably going to be the shortest update video I've ever done. I figured short, sweet, and to the point, especially with how tired I am. I mean, if you look, I have bags under my eyes and my glasses have been sitting on my face for so long that 
I have imprints on the bridge of my nose now, so <laughs> I definitely need to sleep. So, um, but I do hope that you guys had a great day. I will keep you guys posted. Um, I'm not going to, I like more and more I think about everything. I am only going to do maybe like half of the way through of NaNoWriMo update and then turn around and update in the last day of NaNoWriMo. I just don't want to be constant, yeah, I got my 1,600 words in, like, I actually want to talk about my progress rather than, like, just throwing something together and everything. So, overall, um, I am just happy with how day one went. Exhausted, to say the least, but overall, very happy with how today went and looking forward to the future, so... Alright guys, well, take care, I hope you enjoyed the content, and give it a like if you liked it, if you're new here and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you part of the community, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later, bye!